Hey everybody, uh, I want to speak um, on a, a topic that I think is pretty interesting. It was to me anyway when I was sort of faced with the uh, with the challenge um, of writing in a classic American style, uh, writing in a, an e uh, immediately recognized style. In this case, the classic American songbook style. I mean, the, you know, the challenge is how does one avoid sounding like copied over Cole Porter? or Rodgers and Hammerstein, or Rodgers and Hart, or the Gershwins. How do you write a new song in this well-established style that doesn't sound like it has already been done? Um, so how do you add something fresh to uh, an immediately recognized uh, American music style like the American songbook type songs? Um, well, the harmony, <clears throat> the harmony, if you're writing in these types of songs, uh, pretty much screams for sophistication, um, a little bit more chords and, and, and harmonic um, uh, progressions that lend themselves more to really a jazz sort of approach because so many of these American songbook standards are the vehicles, have been the vehicles for improvisation for jazz musicians for decades. Um, and so that immediately applies a particular kind of melody, too. Um, so for me, uh, writing in this, new, in writing in this uh, established idiom, it's like the lyric is the place where one can uh, be innovative and, um, and be um, maybe somewhat authentic. Uh, the lyric is the place where that can happen. Um, and, and it, I, I, it, for me, it still, the lyric still needs to retain some level of sophistication because with, with the type of harmony that's going on underneath, uh, the simple vernacular words seem a little out of place. Um, Bob Wills um, did a good job of that um, with his Western swing approach with those jazz harmonies with sort of the vernacular going on, but... Even that was a bit of a caricature in some ways. So how can you write, how can you add something fresh to this, this type of style that's, that's so embedded in our, our social consciousness and uh, our cultural consciousness? Um, again, the lyric is the place to do it. And that's, this is all to say that it came to me when a, a co-writer of mine, wonderful co-writer and wonderful, wonderful singer, Cassie Peterson, uh, brought an idea in one time. Uh, I Remember Loving You was the name of the title that she thought was interesting. And I said, oh, okay. And, she, and her being a jazz singer, uh, more so, um, thought it would be, you know, cool to write it in sort of the American songbook style. So we started down the road of, you know, I remember Paris in springtime and the sky at night so blue and I, I remember loving you. You know, and... We could have gone down that road, but Cole Porter already did and did a pretty good job of it. So it just sounded like, like a, a lesser version of, of those kinds of songs, really. So we, we thought about it. And, uh, and so where do you innovate? Where can you uh, sort of reinvent that style uh, where it doesn't sound like it has already been done over many, many times. And the lyric, again, the lyric is the place to do it. And so we, I Remember Loving You became, I think, an interesting sort of twist. And this is where the country uh, craft comes in for me, was like looking at it a little bit differently. How can you make that title, I Remember Loving You, um, say, say it a little bit differently, you know? So what's the context for that? Uh, and we came up with... Um, uh, the form is pretty unique too actually it's uh, uh, the classic AABA form which uh, most of those American songbook songs were written in we, we wrote a, um, um, a version of that using the country bridge which is basically the repeated B section of the AABA form um, and it's now AABA uh, solos BA so the country bridge sort of a makes this uh, uh, traditional form a little bit more uh, innovative too, perhaps. So you've, got, um, so you've got this introductory verse, 
which is pretty pretty common among the American songbook type forms, but it's a very quick uh, part that actually shows up again in the chorus or the bridge or the country bridge. Um, I'd say I knew you, but that'd be a sentimental lie. You sure took a pretty picture. I can almost touch your face. An image so clear, a mother so dear, here one day, then gone away. They say you dance the mambo, they say your favorite dress was blue, and I remember loving you. The corners have cracked and the image has faded. But I can see I have your eyes I'd say I knew you But that'd be a sentimental lie I don't recall the first time You dried my tears or tied in my shoe But I remember loving you Yes, I Corners have cracked, and then the bridge out, uh, B A out. Um, I messed up a chord in there somewhere, but anyway, I'm posting the uh, Cassie's version of it uh, with a full band uh, on, on the SoundCloud uh, link uh, that's uh, accompanying this 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 video as well. So check her version out; it's wonderful. Anyway, um, yeah, so we we sort of took a modern, uh, you know, a, a different approach to the lyric, I Remember Loving You, and it's about, obviously, it's about the uh, the girl singing about uh, the mother that she never quite knew. I remember loving you. You sure took a pretty picture. I can almost touch your face. The image is clear. A mother so dear. Here one day, then gone away. They say you danced the mambo. They say your favorite dress was blue, and I remember loving you. So that has a and you'll hear it in the SoundCloud recording, it has a little bit of a, a fresher approach. I mean, it still has re very much a reminiscent of, it's very much reminiscent of that, of that, of that American songbook period. But, but uh, I challenge you, when you, if you want to write in this vein, look at the lyric and make sure that you're not falling into that moon, June, Paris, and springtime, you know, uh, world that has already been done and already been done very well. Thank you very much. And there are a number of, uh, there are a number of artists that are, that are doing that. I love the way Gregory Porter, you need to check him out. Gregory Porter is um, making a big dent um, bring in jazz, bringing a lot of young people into the listening to, to jazz that maybe have never even listened to it at all. Wonderful singer, boy, and a, a great, really, I think a great songwriter. Um, mixes a bunch of different styles, but sort of his reinventing, I, I believe is sort of reinventing the American standard. So um, it's a wonderful idiom to, to, to write within. Um, but have a look at the lyric and see, especially for those who are um, big fans of the songwriting craft and know that uh, the lyric can be a place where you can really do some special things. And so look at the lyric for innovation or maybe some, some new uh, approach in writing in a, uh, in a traditional vein like the American uh, Songbook. Um, so if you want to learn more about uh, what I teach and if you'd like to study with me, just click on the post in the link and also run over and check out the SoundCloud uh, post of Cassie Peterson singing this song. Okay, thank you for your time.